So you want to add website links to your unturned server. This is a very famous plugin that like almost every unturned server uses. Pretty much what it allows you to do is allows players to type a command and then it'll pop up a little pop up <laughs> um, and you can click accept or deny and then it'll open a website. This is good for linking people to your discord or your website store or literally whatever you want. Thankfully, it's super simple to install. So I'll show you how. All you need to do is go to your unturned server, click on plugins. You're going to want to search for website command and then you're going to click install. Give it a second, head back up to the top and you can go to the console, restart your server and then wait for it to restart. Once your server is restarted, you can go to file manager, servers, unturned, rocket, plugins, and then you'll see the actual plugin file has been put over here and the folder. So you're going to want to go to the folder to configure it. You're going to look for website command configuration. And then this is where you can actually set up the plugin. So the top line over here, you can ignore. The second line is open URL on join. This is, do you want um, a pop-up to show every time someone joins a service? So a lot of the times people will link this to their Discord or their website or like the main thing. So literally every single time someone joins the server, they'll get that link. So we can change that to true. Then the join URL. So this is the actual URL that we want them to go to. So we could make this pinehosting.com. Then the join description. This is just the text that like gets shown on the pop-up so you can write whatever you can be like the best hosting company ever. Um, so now it will, when they click accept, it'll take them to pinehosting.com and the description will be like shown on that actual pop-up. Then we have website command. So now this is where you actually set the command that can open the website. So we have URL. So this is whatever URL we could have at youtube.com, for example. Um, then we have description, which is the same as above. That's just the text that goes there. So we can go video platform, for example, command name. So this is the actual command. This is also the same as the permission that you need to give the user. So you could call this one like YouTube. So now if someone does slash YouTube, it's going to open the, the pop up um, help. This is this can be ignored. I think it just shows stuff in the actual logs and stuff. So I just generally call it the same as the command name. So we'll call that YouTube. So say you want to make multiple commands, all you need to do is copy from up here all the way down to there. And then you can paste it a couple times. For example, let's say you wanted three of them. So now you could change this one to discord.com and this one to mywebsite.com, for example. And you can go and set all of these up individually. As you can see, they're all like little groups kind of thing. And once you're done with that, all you have to do is save the file and then restart the server and it'll all be working. One important thing to remember is to head to your permissions file, which is found servers unturned rocket permissions and make sure to give the user permission. So for example, the default group, you'd want to give them permission to website, for example. So now when they type slash website, it'll actually work and make sure to save that. But that's it. That's all you have to do. And then you should have website commands working. I'm sure you're sick of Brad by now. But if for some reason you want to hear more, then make sure to subscribe down below. We got loads more coming and I'll see you in the next video.